All right, good morning, guys. I am attempting a video. I don't know if the camera's gonna like it. It is currently minus 41 Celsius. I'm all geared up on the fat bike, set of tires. I'm actually kind of comfortable, pretty warm. So, heading into work, but I'm gonna ride some trails on the way just because. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I've got some place, some warm places along the way if things go sideways, but judging how I'm dressed right now and how I feel, I think we should be good for the ride. Um, yeah, as far as what I'm wearing, I've got uh, no cotton on. So I got a polyester base layer and then a, a long sleeve kind of three quarters zip on top of that. I got my puffer coat and then my shell jacket on top of that with a bell clava and a toque on my regular riding helmet and yeah I'll have my full winter gloves and these um, and these bar mats you can probably see in the video and then for boots I've got keen winter boots we're ready for minus 48 celsius and ski socks so the bike doesn't really want to roll it's noticeably slower rolling between the snow the studs and just the grease not liking the cold weather but yeah anyways slow and steady away we go when i got those little hot hands those chemical hand warmers i got them stuffed everywhere <laughs> Because why not? I have a box of like a hundred of them. So, not really needed, but they're nice to have. Okay, let's pause till we get to the trailhead. Keep this camera warm. All right, I am at the top of U of L. Both my lights are starting to die already. They're on their last little stretch, so I'm gonna run out of light, so uh, this might be a short ride. Took me a little extra time to get out here, as usual, or compared to my norm. Oh wow, snow's kind of deep. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, Uvel downhill. Not going very fast. There's kind of a couple reasons why. One, it's just the snow's too deep. Too deep and drifty here. Secondly, I definitely want to take it easy. There's uh, another level of uh, caution when the temperatures are, are this low. If you have a crash or a mechanical or something happens you don't really want to get stuck when it's minus 40 or colder than minus 40 actually um, yeah oh one lights out one lights on emergency mode the other one is flashing So I think I've got about 15 minutes of light left, if that, because it's so cold out. So this video is going to be just a bit darker than usual, because I only have about oh, 250 lumens, I think. I need to pedal up this section here. The BB7. These Avid brakes are really nice. Let's go down here again. Oh. Oh. Hopefully that owl doesn't peck at my eyes from the last video. It's icy under here. Quite slippery. It's 
like a fast break only kind of ride. And the owl left me alone. <laughs> There we go. Wow. Okay. All right. So considering my lights are dying, this Transax dropper is still working. Really slow on the return, but my saddle's up. So I feel like my ride's gonna be cut short. I'll be left in the dark here pretty soon. Oh, we got a deer right in front of me. Whew. At least I know these trails quite well. My helmet light night might even stop working as well. But we'll see. There's street lights nearby if I need to ride somewhere. And at this pace, you could really ride pitch black, but... All right. So yeah, both lights are kind of done. <laughs> oh, you can see the one flashing. That means I was less than 15 minutes. And the other light I turned down, so it's orange but it was red for a moment there all right well, I might pedal around to the other trail we'll see depending on my lighting let's pause for a moment and see how it goes the GoPro is lasting kind of surprising all right you guys that's it for me today. These lights are dying. I thought it was best just to head into work, but oh, your GoPro keeps trying to die, so like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.